that time again. Time for some exciting Formula One action. Who will emerge victorious in the Battle of Baku? Well, we're just about ready to get underway, so welcome to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Baku City Circuit then, an unpredictable 3.7 mile track around the streets of the Azerbaijan capital. 20 turns for our drivers to navigate today, including the infamous Turn 8, one of the tightest and most challenging corners of the season. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Perez, Lance Stroll and Vettel. Sainz, Gasly, Fernando Alonso, and Yuki Tsunoda. Ricardo, Norris, Charles Leclerc, and Ocon. Mick Schumacher, Giovinazzi, Nicholas Latifi, and Kimi Raikkonen. Russell, and Nikita Mazepin. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway.
this is now available. Behind is 2.1 seconds. Gap ahead is 2.2 seconds. Great work. That's a new fastest lap of the race.
end of the race, we'll see you in Park Ferme. And so ends another Azerbaijan Grand Prix. A fascinating race and a well-deserved victory. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it.